أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل لقدة من لساني يفقه قولي الحمد لله الذي جعلنا من المتمسكين بولاية سيد ومولاي علي بن أبي طالب عليه السلام اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد الحمد لله الذي هدانا لهذا وما كنا لنهتدي لولا أن هدانا الله أما بعد يقول الله في كتاب الكريم والفرقان الحميد وقوله الحق بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ومن آياته أن خلق لكم من أنفسكم أزواجا لتسكنوا إليها وجعل بينكم مودة ورحمة صدق الله العلي العظيم صلوا على محمد وآل محمد اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد Honorable Prime Minister Mwashimiwa Kasi Majaliwa, respected scholars, esteemed leaders of the community and esteemed leaders in Tanzania, elders, brothers and sisters, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa ta'ala wa barakatuh. What are the secrets towards a happy and successful marriage? Of course, tonight we have six wedding parties and you'd like to know what are the secrets to a happy and successful marriage. The Oprah magazine, Oprah Winfrey, a very famous journalist within the United States, she has a magazine and within the magazine they released an article on the 28th of June 2019 titled The Secret to Having a Happy Marriage. Now the article mentions 10, I'll mention 3 inshallah, to a happy marriage. Now happiness is very fundamental towards a successful marriage. Allah in the Quran in Surah Rum, chapter number 30, verse number 21, Allah says, وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ أَنْ خَلَقَ لَكُمْ مِنْ أَنفُسِكُمْ أَزْوَاجًا لِتَسْكُنُوا إِلَيْهَا وَجَعَلَ بَيْنَكُمْ مَوَدَّةً وَرَحْمًا And on one of his signs is that he has created for you spouses from amongst yourselves. That means towards the groom, and towards the brides, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has already ordained your spouse. He has already decided who will be your wife, who will be your husband. And then Allah says, why? So that you might take comfort in them. And He has placed between you love and mercy. Mahaba na rahma. Vital. So even Allah says, marriage is good, but there has to be love, mercy and happiness. Emerson, an American essayist, lecturer, philosopher, and a man who led the transcendentalist movement, Ralph Waldo Emerson says, for every minute you are angry, you lose 60 seconds of happiness. Because at the end of the day, when you are angry, whom are you hurting? Are you hurting that person? No, you are hurting yourself. So, what is our topic? Ya Allah. Secrets to a Ahsan. Secrets to a happy and successful marriage. I'll mention three, only three. So bear with me in these three points and we are done, inshallah. This is not only for the to be grooms and bride. No. This is for those people who are already married, those people who are planning to get married as well. Three secrets and we are done. Number one, be kind to one another. Secret number one. If you are not kind, then that marriage is a problem. Lazima uwe na huruma. Rasulullah Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Allah Muhammad This is a hadith with it sahih al-Bukhari. So Rasulullah says, Inna Allah rafiqun yuhibbu rifq fil amri kulli. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is kind. True or not true? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we know him as kind. However, when you claim that you are a believer in Allah, you also have to be kind. So Allah is kind and the hadith says that Allah expects kindness in all affairs. When you treat your worker, treat your worker with kindness. When you are with your employee, respect that employee. When you are with your husband or wife, treat that husband or wife, treat your husband or wife with the utmost dignity and respect. According to Rasulullah, kindness is fundamental. Mwalimu Julius Kambaragi Nyerere, 
Baba wa Taifa, our first president, the man who fought for the independence of Tanzania. Ye amesema kwenye kitabu chake tujisahihishi. Mwalimu Nyerere amesema ukiondoa matatizo wanayopatayo binadamu kwa sababu ya mambo kama mafuriko, nzeti nzige, kiangazi na kadhalika, matatizo yao mengi hutokana na unafsi. If you remove all the external factors, hurricanes, a uh, heart attack for example, drought, all these problems you remove, many of the problems that the human race faces is because of who? Themselves. You ask yourself, many of the problems that you have encountered in life is because of who? Yourself. So, Mwali Munyarele says, try and rectify yourself. Be kind and compassionate and merciful so that you are able to attract kindness, compassion and mercy. There is a very interesting story, interesting hadith before that, Ya Allah sallu ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. Allahumma sallu ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. Allama Majlisi, a renowned scholar, he was a teacher to Sayyid Ni'matullahi al-Jazeri. Allama Majlisi, the author of the very famous Bihar al-Anwar. He treated Sayyid Ni'matullah like a child. These two are scholars. Allama Majlisi, the teacher of Sayyid Ni'matullah. Allama Majlisi passes away. He dies. However, he appears in the dreams of Sayyid Ni'matullah al-Jazeri. So Sayyid Ni'matullah says, Allama Majlisi, mashallah, you must have a very great status in heaven. He says, yes, I have a great status. He said, but how did you attain this great status? So, as soon as he was buried, Allama Majlisi, as soon as he was buried, there was a voice. Ye, kulikuwa sauti. Ye, ni mambo gani mema ambayo umefanya maisha ni mwa? Ni matendo gani mema ambayo umefanya maisha ni mwa? What good deeds did you do in your life? Alijibu. Ni meandika vitabu kuhusu Islam. Ni metoa mihadhara mingi. I organized several lectures on Islam. Still, the voice wasn't satisfied. It is okay, Dari Dika. Nida Nida Vitabu. Very good. Not enough. Now he was thinking, what should I say? I want to enter heaven. Umeleta matedogani ambayo yanaweza kukusaidia. What are the deeds that can help you to enter heaven? Which deeds? So this act, so Allah Majlis started contemplating and one deed popped up. Which one? On one occasion, Allah Majlis was walking on the streets. When he was alive, he was walking on the streets and he sees an old man, Tumzeh Kabisa. He was harassed by pedestrians. Local citizens were harassing this old man. Technically, they were bullying this old man. Hey, now Allah Majlis calls all those people. He says, why are you bullying this old man? Then they answer, this man, he took a loan from us. He took a loan from us, but he's unable to pay back. How is he bullying? But we want our money back. That's why we are bullying this old man. So straight away, Allah Majlis he says, How much did you take from me? How much did you take from this? He said, 70 dinars. I borrowed this old man 70 dinars. He has not paid. Okay, no problem. You, 30 dinars. Okay, 30 dinars. You, 50, 100. He said, Okay, follow me towards my house. If what? Follow me until you reach my house. Allah Majlis, he went into his house, took some money, gave it to all those people, said, I am clearing the debt of this old man. Allah Allah Majlis, he remembered this incident, that he helped an old man. He says, Straight away, they said, because you helped an old man, that is why we are opening the gates of heavens for you. So not because of his books. It's good. Books very good. Lectures very good. But, Humanity and kindness and respect and love allow him to enter heaven. Sallu ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. Aliposema tu kwa mba ala msaidia uyo mse, milango ya mbinguni ilifunguliwa kwa njiri yaki. Ni wajibu kwa na huruma kwa wengine, na muimu sana kwa tunasaidiani. We have to help one another. Mwashimiwa, our current president, Mwashimiwa, Dr. John Bombe Joseph Magufuli, amesema, Nina amini kama sote tutatekeleza wajibu wetu. If we fulfill our duties and our obligations, tutafanikiwa na nchi yetu itakuwa mfano wa kuigwa duniani. If we fulfill our obligations, 
We will become role models for humanity. People will start following us. However, how? What is our first responsibility? Helping one another, being kind to each other. Ukifungua okay, Biblia, Book of Acts, Surah 20, Ayah 35. What is Yesu amesema? Jesus Christ says, Ni bora kutoa kuliko kupokea. It is more blessed. Ni baraka zaidi kutoa kuliko kupokea. In the Bible, Rasulullah Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Kuna hadith mashuri kwa ni Mahajjat al-Baitha, volume 3, page 70. Rasulullah says, Verily, a man who lifts a morsel of food to his wife's mouth is well rewarded. If you feed your wife, or may I say wives now, if you feed your wives, Rasulullah says, you will be well rewarded. Rasulullah is remembering this deed. In his hadith, he said, feed your wife, and vice versa. The wife should feed the husband too. Further than that, in another hadith, in Gansul Umar, Ahl Sunnah book, hadith number 44,435, Rasulullah says, Iza saqar If you quench the thirst of your wife, your wife says, Lete maji, nomba maji, Rasulullah says, still Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rewards you. Vice versa, if the husband says, Nataka chai, I want soda, and the wife brings it, there's also a reward from Allah. So number one, in order to have a happy marriage, what is my topic? Secrets to a happy marriage. Only three. Number one, be kind to each other. Number two, accept change and expect change. Life, life is about change. Every time you will see change. Undoubtedly, you will encounter turbulent times, there will be trials, tribulations, challenges, no doubt. But do not lose hope. Uena iman. Have faith. Because Allah says in Surah Yusuf, Surah Umnabil, verse 87, Wala Do not despair the relief and mercy from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Never say, Allah will not help me, Allah will not protect me. No, no, no. Allah is always with you. Remember, Allah is watching over you. There is a very interesting ayah I read from Surah Nisa. Chapter number 4, verse number 1. Very interesting. About marriage. Allah says, Ya ayyuhan nafs, Ittaku rabbakum alladhi khalaqakum wahida wa khalaqa minha zawjaha. O mankind, be conscious of Allah who created you from a single soul. And then Allah says, He has ordained your spouses. As I said earlier, your wife or your husband has already been decided. Now, what does it mean by from a single soul? What do I mean? Tanzania is a beautiful example. Tanzania, we have people from different races, cultures, ethnicities, tribes, religions, but look, we have a peaceful nation. People love one another, people respect one another, irrespective of Kabila, tribe, anything. Why? Because we realize that we are from God. We are made from a single soul. Kiswahili kuna sehemu moja there's a proverb sallallahu alaihi wasallam Muhammad wa ali Muhammad Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad Okay there's an announcement uh, there's a car that's blocking uh, other cars T956 BEM Black Cruiser parked near is it Kersley Travel Cursely travel, okay? So please do remove. There's an emergency. Thank you. Salawat. Allah, T956DEM. Once again, a salawat. Umoja ni gufu utengano ni udhaifu. Umoja ni gufu ni Unity is strength. Division is weakness. So be united. Not Manchester United. United means togetherness. Be together. Have unity. Because dissension and disunity is a sign of weakness. And Tanzania has always been a country of unity. And then at the end of the verse, Allah says something phenomenal. Chapter 4, verse 1. Allah ends the ayah by saying, you know what? He talked about marriage. Then Allah says, Inna Allah kana alaykum raqiba. Allah is watchful over you. Allah is watching over you. That means whatever you encounter in life, Allah is with you. Don't worry. Jack Ma, 
a famous entrepreneur. He says, Usikate tapa, never give up. Today is hard, tomorrow will be worse, but the day after tomorrow will be sunshine. You will encounter problems, no doubt. But after the darkness of the night, you will see the light of the morning. So that's number two. Don't give up. Accept change and expect change. Number two. Number three, and my final point. Appreciate each other. Surah Isra, chapter 17, verse number three. Allah talks about Noah, Prophet Noah. Innahu kana abdan shakura. Prophet Noah was a thankful servant. He was thankful towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah loves it when you thank one another, when you are thankful to each other. Therefore, these three points are essential. Number one, be kind to one another in marriage and you, sh you see that you shall succeed. Number two, do not give up, do not lose hope. Number three, appreciate each other, thank one another. And you have to work on these three points, you have to work hard in order to have a happy marriage. Once again, I quote the current president of Tanzania, Mwishimiwa, John Pombe Joseph Magufuli, who says, Na wahimiza wananchi kufanya kazi kwa bidi ili kuleta maendeleo kwa taifaletu. So if you want to bring change, you want to bring development, you have to work hard. Mwishimiwa waziri mkuu wa jamhuri ya mungano wa Tanzania, Mwishimiwa Kasim Majaliwa Kasim, kwa niaba ya familia ya Mwishimiwa Hasnaim Murji, Naomba kuchukua nafasi hii kukushukuru sana katika uthibitisho wa ndoa hii ya mtoto wake Muhammad Abbas Moji. Tunajua una mambo mengi sana na una kazi nyingi za serikali lakini umekubali kuacha kazi zako, kazi zote na umekubali kushiriki nasi katika hafla hii ya ndoa. Tunashukuru sana na leo umetuthibitishia umma huu wa jumuiya yetu ya Hoja Shia Islamshari kwa wewe kweli mtu kwa watu. Sisi kazi yetu ni kukuombea dua Mwenyezi Mungu akupe zaidi na kujalie katika mambo zako na kazi zako. Pia naomba kuchukua nafasi hii kuwashukuru wageni wafuatao Mufti Mkuu wa Tanzania Alhaj Abu Bakar Zubair bin Ali, Sheikh wa Mkoa wa Dar es Salaam Alhaj Alhadi Musa Salu, mwenyekiti wetu wa jumuiya wa Hoja Shia Ifdashar Jamaat Dar es Salaam Alhaj Azim Dewji Mwenyekiti wa CCM mkoa wa Mtwara Mzee Yusuf Nanila, mjumbe wa NEC Mtwara ndugu Lucas Milasi, wajumbe wa kamati ya siasa mkoa wa Mtwara, mwenyekiti wa CCM Mtwara mjini Mzee Mpiru Salu pamoja na wajumbe wake wa kamati ya siasa. Na wazee wetu kutoka Mtwara mjini wa shehe waalikwa na wageni wote. Na pia naomba kuchukua nafasi hii kwa niaba ya familia ya Muji kwa shukuru sana katika kuja kusherehekea na kubariki kubariki ndoa hii ya mtoto wetu. Tunajua umetoka safari ndefu kutoka Mtwara mpaka hapa Dar es Salaam. Mwenyezi Mungu atawajalia mwezi kurudi salama nyumbani kwenu. Mwisho Mheshimiwa Waziri Mkuu, Mheshimiwa Kasim Majaliwa, tunaomba utufikishie salamu zetu kwa rais wetu mpendwa Dr. John Pombe Joseph Magufuli kwamba tunampenda. Tunamombea dua ili awe na afya njema kwa kazi kubwa anayoifanya na kuimarisha uchumi wetu wa Tanzania. Na mabadiliko makubwa alioleta katika muda mfupi tunampongeza kwa kazi kubwa anayoifanya. Mungu ibariki Afrika, Mungu ibariki Tanzania and we pray for the wedding couples inshallah. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa heshima kubwa. Mheshimiwa mwenyekiti wa Dehba Isia. Sia. Mheshimiwa Dewi. Mufti wetu wa Tanzania, kiongozi wa Islam. Kiongozi wengi wa dini ambao wako hapa kwa heshima ya bunge wenzangu ambao nawaona hapa viongozi wa chama cha mapinduzi kutoka mkoa wa Mtwara wa kiongozwa na mwenyeji wao kwa heshima ya Mburiki kwa shehe ambao mko kwenye ukumbi huu 
kama ambavyo mheshimiwa Deudi ameeleza bibi somgeni hapo shakuje mara kadhaa kwa shughuli mbalimbali za kidini leo pia nimepata fursa ya kuja kuungana nanyi kwenye matukio haya ya sita ya heli yanayounganisha familia zetu kwa ajili ya kuendeleza mshikamano ndani ya familia zetu lakini kwanza ni kama Tanzania wenzangu na Watanzania wote tunaishi kama ndugu natambua watanzania wote na wote duniani leo lakini pia jana tumeungana na watanzania wenzetu wa dini ya Kikristo wakiwa na adhimisha na kusherekea sikukuu ya Christmas naamini sisi sote tumeungana nao na siku kama hii ambayo ni moja kwa mwaka huwa tunaitumia pia kujipongeza kwa mafanikio tuliyopata ya kujenga mshikamano ndani ya dini zetu na nyie pia naamini tulikuwa nao na wakristu wenzetu kwenye sherehe hizi za Christmas bado watakie pia na nyie Christmas njema ndugu viongozi wa dini nikiwa hapa nimemsikia vizuri sana imamu wetu imamu wetu kijana nimemwona msomi mzuri na mimi nimempenda ghafla kwa kweli nimpongeze sana kwa hotuba yake nzuri ambayo maeneo mengi aliyozungumza ameendelea kusisitiza yale hata ambayo sisi tukiwa serikalini pia tunasisitiza amani na mshikamano kwa islamu wenzangu sisi tukiwa kwenye uislamu tunaamini utulivu uliopo nchini ni sehemu ya mchango wetu kama waislamu nchi hii kwa ya amani na utulivu na mchango huu unatokana na makubiri ya viongozi wa dini kama ambavyo leo imamu wetu ametumia nafasi yake katika kuwataka wa Tanzania na kuwataka waislamu wenzetu wenzetu tuendelee kuidumisha amani tunayo chini ndugu waislamu leo hii tunakutana hapa kwa ajili ya shughuli muhimu kama ambavyo nimesema awali ya kuendelea kuimarisha mshikamano miongoni mwetu tunazo harusi sita ambazo zinaunganisha familia mbili au zaidi na haya yote ndio yale yanayojenga msingi mara wa mshikamano ndani ya familia zetu nilikuwa nazungumza na mheshimiwa Mwiji yeye ni mmoja wa wenye familia ya harusi akieleza mtoto wake ambaye anaishi Mtwara lakini pia anaoa kwa familia inayotaka Uingereza sasa muone sasa namna familia hizi mbili yuko Tanzania na Uingereza tunaifanya kuwa familia moja kwa matukio leo ni muhimu sana sitaki niarudie imao ameeleza vizuri zaidi na kwa bahati nzuri imamu amegobea kwa dini. Mimi sijamfikia. Sitaki ni neno kunukuru kifungu nisije nikachanganya mambo. Lakini nampongeza sana kwa sababu kwanza ameonyesha umuhimu wa tukio la leo. Kwa sababu anapofikia umri wa kuoa ni vyema ukawa na mwenza ili mwanza kujenga familia ili muweze kupanua wigo kwa maendeleo ya shughuli zenu na hatimaye inatengeneza utulivu kutoka familia moja mpaka familia nyingine na hatimaye msingi huu unakwenda bara kwa taifa zima 
na yale yote ambayo ameasisitiza yanawezeka kujenga mshikamano huo wa kila mwenye familia kuwa na mapenzi upendo huruma lakini pia usikivu kwa mwenza ni muhimu sana na mimi familia zimepata nafasi ya kuzungumza na wanaharusi wote na leo hii viongozi wa dini kama fursa itakuwepo atapata fursa zaidi ya imamu na mufti wetu yuko hapa na yeye pia amesisitiza na ameeleza pia kwamba jambo hili tunalozungumza leo hapa si Tanzania duniani kote hata mheshimiwa mwenyekiti alipokuja hapa ameeleza kwa masikitiko kwamba wako wenzetu huko saizi wanapata tamu na isingekuwa vyema huko wakaendelea na hilo nami niungane naye kuwataka wenzetu kule nchini India watulie wasikilizane ili hayo yaendelee yasiendelee sababu yakiendelea yanaendelea kumpotezea wenzetu ambao pia walikuwa na matumaini na walikuwa na na malengo yao kwenye maisha yao ya baadaye sitaki kuingilia sababu sijua undani lakini ni vyema kama viongozi wa dini tunapokutana basi tunataka wenzetu pia wakae pamoja wazungumze kwa yamalizi Mheshimiwa Leoji amesisitiza pia kwamba sisi kama waislamu hapa nchini tumeendelea kuenzi amani ambayo tunayo kwa muda mrefu na imamu alipokuwa hapa pia aliendelea kueleza kwamba amani hii ilianza kujengwa kwa misingi yake na viongozi waliotangulia akiwepo baba wa taifa hili hayat baba Julius Kabarage Nyerere ambaye aliweza kuunganisha makabila yote aliweza kuunganisha dini zote na zikaendelea kuishi pamoja kama ndugu Shewa mkuu akaja hapa alikuwa anajaribu kueleza yeye anasema wadhebu nyingine lakini hivi zidhebu nyingine kitu kwa pamoja kundo msingi mara ambao imam ametukumbusha kwa hiyo wale wote wanaoboa wale wote wanaolewa wajue kwamba mkusanyiko huu umekuja kuungana nao ikaanza kujenga imara wa mshikamano tulionao ndani ya familia zetu kwa tunawataka baada ya kwa mmeunganishwa rasmi kwa misingi ya dini zetu basi endeleeni kwanza kwenye familia yenu kila mmoja kutambua umuhimu wa uwepo wa mwenzake yale yote ni muhimu mapenzi kwa maana ya huruma kusikilizana upendo wa kawaida lazima uendelezwe na mtakapokuwa mmeimarika nane hata kutoka nje sasa pia tunakuwa walimu na kupitia elimu hiyo sasa hata hawa wanaotufuata nao wajenga msingi huo na hatimaye taifa hili linaendelea kuwa taifa moja sisi kama serikali na sisi tunajitahidi kuhakikisha kwa taifa letu la Tanzania na kama tulivyoambiwa tumeingia mwaka 2015 madarakani mkuta misingi mizuri iliyowekwa na wale kutangulia tukomplete ni kuendeleza tukiwa tunaendeleza tunahitaji sana ushirikiano nani bara kama hata nilipokuja hapa nilieleza umuhimu wa dini na mchango wake kwa serikali zinatusaidia sana kufanya tuwe watulivu na sisi na kuongoza taifa hili lenye watu wanaopenda amani kama nyie tutaendelea kushirikiana na nyie kwenye shughuli zote za kidini pale ambapo utapata fursa tuje kuungana nanyi kwa lengo lile lile la kuimarisha mshikamano miongoni mwetu nimepata salamu hapa na imamu nimpelekea rais wetu dr Julius Magufuli kwa niaba yake na mimi nazichukua hizi na kesho mapema nitamjulisha tutampa salamu zenu kwamba mnamsalimia na mpenda sana na mnaendelea kumwombea na mnapoendelea kuomba basi waombee ni viongozi wote msimsao pia na mama yetu mpaka mwa rais mama yetu wa Samia Suluh Hassan na huku wasaidizi sisi wote sisi eh jambo jema kwa kufanya hilo basi tunakuwa na uwezo 
kwa kufanya shughuli zetu pamoja na hatimaye tuweze kufika hatua ambayo tunatarajia. Isiyo kuzungumzaji sana. Najua watu wengi na hamu ya kuona matukio yaloandaliwa hapa na viongozi wa dini yakiwa naendelea. Mimi niwatakie kila laheri wale wote ambao leo hii tathibitishwa hapa na viongozi wa dini kwa wamoja kwa nyumba zenu mke na mume kwa familia moja na endeleeni pia kujenga msingi wa familia hizo lakini hasa e, mshimamuri ambaye pia na yeye tuko pia kwenye siasa e, mshimambunge mstafu shala basi mungu akijali ya tena nafasi yake bado ipo ni kupongeze wewe na kijana wetu ambaye pia leo atapata mke hapa na ile familia kutoka Uingereza yenye binti yetu ambaye pia tunaoangalisha pamoja vijana hawa ili baada ya tukio hili muendelee kuishi kwa amani na utulivu na kushikamana kwa kutosha baada ya kusema hayo nawashukuru sana viongozi wa dini nawashukuru sana viongozi wote wa msikiti na waumini wote ambao tumeungana pamoja hiyo ni hii kwenye shughuli hii asante sana na sasa nirudi nitoe nafasi shughuli nyingine ziweze kuendelea sana sana msikilizaji